Now I know I should leave such commentary to black guys, you know, Mr. Forma, Mr. Elite, you know, Coach Greg Adams, Bass, FZZ. But I just had to comment on this, this one thing. Uh, so I just went to the Circle K down the street here. And so I drive up on the thing and I'm going to get some beer. And there, there's a woman in there in the store who has three kids. And they're, you know, obviously mixed, right? Nappy-headed kids, cute kids. I mean, they're, you know, fairly well-behaved. Little boy was getting a little bit rambunctious. Wanted some, you know, sugar, whatever, soda pop. And so this woman has got one in a baby carriage. I'd guess the boy is probably five years old. And the middle one was probably three. And then the newborn, you know, uh, under, under a year. And this woman was the size of a small car. She's a white girl, you know, long hair. She's got the requisite tattoos. She's uh, smoking cigarettes, dressed up in her uh, sweat outfit, you know, sweatpants, sweatshirt and all that. And she walked, right? So, hey, she's doing some exercise. This is good. Get the kids out. Let them run around. Let them burn off some energy. This, it's fine. This, uh, this woman was, you know, the, she was a, a small fridge. Okay. You know, like a little, not a mini, but like a mid fridge, you know, a five foot tall. And I'm just wondering to myself, black guys. So she's had at least one, maybe two, maybe three baby daddies, black guys. Do, do you men have no shame? I mean, this woman wouldn't be attractive at a gulag in Siberia. There'd be men saying, mm -mm, no, uh, no, no, I'm out. I'm not doing that. And yet somehow this woman gets laid enough to sprout three vaginal turds from black men. Now, guys, I, I told you about the guy who lives across the street from me, right? You know, six foot three, six foot four. Beautiful black man in shape. I mean, the guy is, he's, he's, he's stacked. He's got guns. I mean, he's, he's looking good. And the woman that follows him out of the apartment is again, the size of a fridge. This man could do a hell of a lot better, but no, it's this flabby explosion of, of femininity, I guess. So my question for black men, and I, and I know I'm a whitey, so I'm not in the position to and I'm certainly not criticizing your, your choice of, of uh, women. For fuck's sake, can, can you, can you, I, I know you can do better than this. This chick was almost as wide as she was tall. And I'm not exaggerating that much. And yet she's getting black dick all over the place. Dudes, what, what the hell? Why, I, why would you go for something like this? You know, what, what is the root cause? Is it low self-esteem? Is it, I don't know, you're, you're, you're a thug? I don't know. I mean, I've seen black guys with beautiful women. They're beautiful dudes. They got beautiful girls. Hey, have a day. But I guess my question would be, why in the hell would you go for that? I mean, she ain't even a 49er. She's like a 29er at best, okay? She's no, uh-uh, mm-mm-mm. But yet, she's getting dick. Now, of course, I might be, maybe she's babysitting. I mean, there's a whole bunch, I don't know. What I'm saying is that if, in fact, she is having enough sex over the last five years to have three babies. Oh, my God. Please, you know, black men, comment below. I mean, I get the booty. You know, she's got plenty of that and enough for another guy. <laughs> there's plenty there. And, and she's got, uh, yeah, she's white, she's got the long hair, all this stuff. But why would you do this is my, is my question. Please comment below and let me know. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.